Ellie Brad's power light tarot coming at you with the reading. This is going to be one of their true intentions, Libra, and I hope you guys are all doing well. And we have some oracle cards here for you and your person. I'm not sure who these are going to kind of refer to. Could be sometimes the situation at hand or either one of you, right? Sometimes both. Let's see what we have. And uh, we start out with this card, Lightning, right? This is from the Love Oracle cards. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, or transformation. Lightning. So, you know, there could be sudden news coming. It could be good or bad because sometimes, you know, upheaval can bring good change, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, you know, revolutions when people rise up. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else we got. And we have the temple path, right? And the fifth chakra. So let's look at the temple path. And uh, it looks like somebody's kind of connecting to source. Let's see what they have to say. Spiritual purpose and support. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual revolution. Okay, Libra. So one of you guys uh, is, you know, ascending, right? On a spiritual journey. The winding path you are on. Yeah, the winding path. So this upheaval could be kind of setting you or a kind of uh, pushing you or, yeah, pushing you into a spiritual uh, awakening. Because that can happen, right? When we go through something, you know, something... Uh, Something that is kind of shocking or, you know, we can grow from that, right? Whatever doesn't kind of uh, kill you can make you stronger. It's like, it's also like kind of, you know, even people who sometimes uh, they go, they see horrible things and sometimes they can become blind by it. Yeah, they can uh, because it, you know, puts them into shock and it affects their nervous system and, you know, the brain and then the brain controls your eyes and all this stuff, right? Your brain controls your whole body. Yeah, not just your you know, your thinking, right, with the uh, the two nervous systems that we have. And interesting here, right, so the temple path, you're ascending, you're going through a spiritual journey, and the fifth chakra is, let's look at the fifth chakra. I feel like this is, you know, the archangel. Let's see where they have this. Mm -hmm. Because I don't remember all the chakras. No, I don't, you guys, and I beg your pardon on that. And let's see uh, what they have right here. And the fifth chakra is, it is self-expression and speaking your truth. So, you know, you're, you're going through a spiritual journey, and with that, uh, kind of like you're speaking your truth about something. I feel like you are. Because, you know, sometimes we have to, we have to ascend to, in order to maybe express ourselves, like, like, very deeply. Or, I just feel like that could have a lot to do with it. Gabriel holds his trumpet in one hand and a beautiful orb of blue light in the other. He is sending powerful energy to your throat center. Oh, this is the throat chakra. Yeah, speaking up. Acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens you up to truthful expressions, both with yourself and others. You may have had trouble in the past doing this. I feel like he's holding the blue orb in the other, in the other hand. In other words, he's kind of ascending, and with that ascension, he is opening up his chakras, right? Yeah, very cool. So let's get into the reading here to find out about you and your person, Libra, right? Yeah, see, and let's put your energy down first. Show me the energy for Libra. Seven of Cups, and it's reversed. Your current energy is the Devil, okay? And your challenge is the Ace of Wands. What you want is the Knight of Cups. The Magician is in your doubt or your fear. Maybe you're dealing with Aries or Capricorn is here with the Devil, potentially. Your person's energy is the Ten of Cups. They have the World card reversed. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant is their challenge. Your person has unfinished business on some level. Or they want to close out a cycle, either one. And <clears throat> now they have the Seven of Wands, they're overwhelmed. And the Seven of Pentacles reversed is their challenge, or their fear, rather, or their doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, your person might be making some type of a decision here. Let's look at your energy first, because you're like your tops, your queen here, Libra. Let's look at your energy the Seven of Cups reversed for you is showing up here with the Five of Pentacles. Wow. You can be no longer confused that maybe you need to leave somebody out or they're leaving you out. The Empress. Yeah, I feel like this could be you here. 
Gemini, I mean not Gemini, Libra or Taurus, but there could be a third party Empress in this reading. There might be. But let's find out. Maybe there's not. But, you know, maybe you feel left out. Sometimes the Five of Pentacles just feels left out. I mean, these, per these people, they have been left out of the church, right? But they could feel, just feel left out. Mm -hmm. You could be feeling left out because of a third party person. The Sun card, maybe you have major clarity about it. Maybe your person is Leo. The Devil card showing up. This is your current energy with the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords. You have fear right now. Yeah, you're afraid something's over. I feel like you felt in the past you, you were no longer confused and you had this major clarity here that there was somebody, like somebody, uh, like there's another woman or there's another man. I feel like that's what this is about. Mm -hmm. You can feel stuck because something's over too. The devil card is not, you know, not only fear. Let's look at your challenge, the Ace of Wands. Nine of Cups. See, this is your challenge here. And, you right, you know, I feel like you are... I feel like your challenge here is that somebody else has a wish they want. Your person has a wish. I don't think this is you. It could be, but it doesn't look like this is your energy uh, or what that's about. Queen of Cups. So this could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And it could be as well, it could be talking about, you know, uh, love, right? There's somebody's in love with somebody here. It's kind of like challenging you or blocking you on some level. Now, let's see what you want, Leo. The Knight of Cups. And we have the Five of Swords, right? Can you guys see these cards? I, I know I hold them up too high sometimes. Uh, the Five of Swords is what you want with the Knight of Cups. I feel like you want another relationship to be defeated. Mm -hmm. Or you feel defeated here and you want your person to come back or stay, right? Why is this Five of Swords there for Libra? The Chariot card, you could, there could be a Cancerian here in the way. This is the only, uh, the World cards here, this could be Scorpio. But yeah, let's see, the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. I feel like you feel defeated here. This is what I think about another situation. What you're fearing is the Magician reversed and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you see, you're afraid you can't manifest something. You could be fearing your person's being a player. You could with these Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles in the reading. Because the Magician is reversed, right? It could be uh, you're dealing with Aries as well, right? Aries is the Magician. And now you have the Knight of Wands. You're fearing somebody's going to take action. You could be fearing somebody's kind of a player. Sometimes the Knight of Wands is seen as, you know, uh, a player. Somebody who's not reliable, mm -hmm. which is pretty similar, right? Why is that Knight of Wands there? Nine of Wands. Yeah, you see, you're the Wounded Warrior here. You have the, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and, okay, uh, Libra, I'm going to try to help you out here, all right? Because you're... You're concerned about your person. I feel like you got this, uh, the fifth chakra before. I feel like you need to speak up in a situation. Maybe you're being too docile. Maybe you're being too quiet, like, screw this. Sometimes when we speak up and we tell people to stop doing it, they actually do it. I mean, sometimes, right? Yeah, there have been wives and, you know, girlfriends and stuff like that who have spoken up, or even men spoken up to their partner and said, hey, you need to stop this now. And they stay with them and things are okay. That happens. Occasionally it does. Sometimes it's done forever. But you're fearing here that you're not going to manifest uh, or that your person, I feel like, is manifesting something else. I feel like this is it. So the Ten of Cups is... And maybe it's already over here, but I don't feel like it's... I don't feel like it's entirely over. Could be, though. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, right? For sure, it could be. Uh, the past energy for your person, wow. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, they look like they were grieving or there was a sad ending. And in terms of an ending, for some of you guys, it could be, you know, like a real ending, but it could be just like the sadness and like kind of things will never be the same. 
like betrayal yeah mm -hmm. and you feel left out I feel like in this reading, like you are like you're realizing here that they're gonna leave you out though. I do feel like that is, you know. Yeah. And let's look at your their current energy here. Mm -hmm. They could have had regret in the past, it's possible. Sometimes the five of cups is regret. I'm not really seeing regret so far. I'm seeing like a sad ending or grieving right? I feel like they're putting in the work with somebody else, Eight of Pentacles. And maybe it's you. It could be you. It could be you too, uh, Lib uh, Libra. It could be. Mm -hmm. You could be leaving them out too. You could have clarity here because as I say, these readings could be switched around. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of this reading. You could be leaving them out too. Mm-hmm. This could be you putting in the work with somebody else. I don't see you grieving. I see them grieving. I don't see you grieving, but I see you overwhelmed. And what's what's gonna what's like what's gonna happen next? This could be a reading where you're with somebody and you're thinking of being with somebody else, and but you don't know. You're not so sure that you're gonna you want to really leave your person. Yeah. I feel like somebody's unhappy in a situation, too. Their current energy is the World card reverse, the Two of Cups, and the Emperor. See, they look like they have unfinished business with somebody. This is why I started out the reading like, you know, yeah, and you're in the devil energy, though. That, that could be, yeah, that could be, that's bad, right, yeah. But I feel like, you know, unless there's a Capricorn here, that can be a little bit of a game changer. But your person here is, they have unfinished business with somebody. I feel like this ended for some of you guys. Yeah, I feel like it did end. Or if it's not an entire ending, there was like a major jolt. Like, yeah, like this card, lightning. Like, oh shit, things could be over. Or, you know, or this is sudden change, shocking news. A surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. I feel like there was some type of a, a, like you found something out or you know, like it could be like uh, shocking news. Like I feel like this is over or sudden change. Yeah, I feel like this is over. And in their challenge is, there could be Aries in this reading too, because we have the emperor and the fool card. Oh, not the fool card, but the magician. Mm-hmm. Let's get, uh, I feel like your person has unfinished business with somebody. So their challenge here is the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles. Could easily be Taurus energy right here. Could be another Earth sign. And the Two of Wands. See what I mean too about third party energy. We have the Queen of Cups here and the Knight of Pentacles here. So this could be a Water sign and an Earth sign respectively. Mm-hmm. Why do they have the Two of Wands? The challenge for them, for me, is to make a choice between possibly their marriage or their union and a somebody else. Why do they have the Two of Wands? Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's a burden for them. Six of Wands reversed. So it's a burden for them uh, whether or not they're going to choose to have victory with somebody else. I also feel like there's, uh, there's some type of feeling in this reading about overcoming a situation. Like maybe they're concerned if you're going to be able to overcome the situation or whether or not they can. Now showing up in their desire is the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. This could be saying that they're really overwhelmed, uh, you know, about being single or not being single. The Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. It could be either or, right? It can. It's the card of being single, but it's in the reverse here. And I feel like that's what this reading is about. They're undecided, but there is some shocking news here, yeah, or some type of epiphany maybe, which is a revelation, like, right, something has been revealed. You guys could be saying, don't insult me, I know what that means. 
Let's see, guys. Sorry, guys. Let's see what we got. Not everybody knows, though. Yeah, I feel Libras are smart as hell. The, the Justice card, the King of Swords, right? <laughs> so let's see what we have. The Seven of Pentacles. My mom was Libra and my sister. They're both uh, highly intelligent. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got. The Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So this is what, uh, you know, this is what your person is fearing or doubting. They don't know if things are going to work out for them if they leave. Yeah, this is totally clear. The Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. And if this is you doing it, uh, they don't want to be left behind. But I feel like they are the ones who have unfinished business with somebody. Mm -hmm. I feel like they felt sad about their union at home. I feel like they do. Uh, the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant in the reading. Which can be marriage cards. Mm -hmm. So they're doubting their victory here. They don't know whether or not things are going to turn out well for them. Six of Swords, yeah. See, they don't know. This could be death, fearing that you're going to go here. It could be. Mm -hmm. But it could be you fearing, uh, you know, you could have somebody here, as I said, Libra, but... This reading is about two people who are together or just recently kind of, you know, broke up. Something happened suddenly, like maybe you found out or they found out. And I feel like, you know, both of you guys are kind of like undecided here. I feel like that's the case. Mm -hmm. I feel like you feel more left out here. It's just going to depend. But this is about, you know, your person is one who has, who has unfinished business. But it's about them, like, uh, you know kind of deciding what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like you need to speak up. Maybe it's them who needs to speak up with this fifth chakra. That's the throat chakra. We're going to find out in the extended reading. Here we are. And we're going to see, <coughs> Libra, how your person feels about you and how they're seeing the situation, right? And what is most fundamental or important to them, what they hide or what's hidden. They have something hidden here. They do. It could have came to light here with the lightning card, right? And uh, their true intentions and their future. I would really love to see that. I'm going to be pulling oracle cards on them as well. Thank you so much for joining me here, guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.